right, what's good, everyone? Welcome to the show, Recap with Mo. We're about to get into this thing, man, very quickly. Um, so I just got finished literally watching the um, SWV and Escape um, situation, um, Queens of R&B, um, Season 1, Episode 4 on Bravo, right? So let me go ahead and get into this thing because I don't want to hesitate because I end up forgetting a lot of shit. So I don't want to do that. So first things first, before we get into this video, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel um, and share it. You know, I hope that you guys are enjoying this content that we're talking about on this channel. But anywho, that's not what you came here for. You came here to hear about the show. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we start off this episode with, you know, all the ladies there spending time with their families and and that's all good. And and, and then we see T- um, Tasha with her husband in the studio. She's just asking, you know, for him to be there for whoop to whoop whoop and all that stuff. So, you know, nigga, we really are really trying to get to what, what we really want to know. Are y'all going to cold headline or not? That's really what we coming to the show to find out because that's all the talk. That's all the talk has been all week. Let's be honest. All week, that's what the talk has been. So, so at the beginning of the episode, you have um, Taj and um, both Taj and Coco. They're at a gym. They're working out. And, you know, they putting in the work. They, you know, they're, they're, re- they're relatively, you know, nice looking women for their ages, man. So, you know, I, I always like to see older women who like to take care of themselves. It's, you know, honestly, it's a turn on to a lot of guys. So, you know, keep doing what you're doing, ladies. You're looking good. No, no disrespect to my homie, Eddie Joyce. Like I said, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. But anywho, so, um... They're talking about the whole situation that went down or transpired in the most recent episode where it came down to the drama of, you know, how they they've never had to deal with the drama that they're currently dealing with. And, and, and they shared with us that they've been on tour with Involved, they've been on tour with TLC groups who are way larger than the both of these groups, the likes of both of these. Right. So. You know, I can understand from their angle, like, why are we going through this much drama and we're not as successful as these other girl groups that we've been in um, on tours with and it was less drama. But you guys are bringing all this month drama and y'all only sold 7 million records per Coco. <laughs> so what's going on with it? So, yeah, so um, that's pretty much what we got right there. And, and then the next thing we see, we head over to Lily's house where she's got this, um, I think it's Sister sister P-Bone or something. I, <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's, it's an erotica book. And look, me, truthfully, honestly, I ain't into all of that. So, you know, if, if you are, you are. You know, I, you know I, I don't even believe I've read a, an erotica book. I don't think that would be an interest to me. But for some people, it may be an interest. So I don't want to turn people off from it, but it, she has an idea. She has up to um, 10 chapters currently. So, you know, support the lady, man. Support the woman in, in her idea because she's looking to have an, an additional stream of income. And, and, and we as black folks, man, we're, we're always talking. And I'm glad that we're talking this knowledge at this point in our lives and this date and time. Because other people, other cultures, and other ethnic groups, let me just say that, let's keep it 100 on this channel, have been in, have been doing it for years. So, and, and truth be told, black, fo- black folks have been doing it for years too, just not as much. And I'm glad to see the, the groundswell for this whole, you know, trying to get multiple streams of income because truth be told, like Lee Lee as well as Todd has stated in this episode, when the shit hits the fan, sometimes that one stream of income that you've been dependent on all this time is no longer in existence, then you have to fall back on the nine to five where you're you're pretty make you're pretty much making pennies on the dollar. And that's what Todd's had to, you know, pretty much tell um Coco's son later on in this episode, and we'll get to that, where she was working for $9 an hour, and she was a superstar, but truth be told, in the music industry, they don't really care about any of that, and and as Lee Lee said in this segment of the show, in this segment, 
Um, she pretty much stated like, you know, the music industry is interested in you because of what you bring to them and what they can grant you, what they can gain off of you. And that's real talk, you know, and the industry is an industry that will eat you up and spit you out at the same time. It's that wicked, man. So kudos to, to Lily trying to stick to her guns and, and find another way so she doesn't end up in the same predicament that she was in previously. So kudos to her on that. All right, so the next thing we see is Taj and Tamika. Tamika comes out with this bomb. <laughs> she comes with this outfit on, man. She look good, man. But she comes to this restaurant, and she's meeting Taj at the restaurant, and they're sitting down pretty much talking about the plans, trying to put the, the logistics and everything together for the, for the concert that they're pl- putting together. And... Tamika conveyed to Taj that this was, or in the confessional, that this was her very first time pretty much, you know, really taking the reign over, you know, creating this whole layout because before that was pretty much her sister's job or Candy's job. But now, since nobody else is stepping up to the plate, she says, shit, this is my opportunity to, to get out there and do it myself. So I'm glad that, you know, these sisters right now are really taking advantage of this opportunity to really put in the work, you know, to see themselves for other than just a, a pretty face and a, and a voice on the stage. So kudos to her for that. And I love the, I enjoy, let me say that, I enjoy the, 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 um, the sisterhood in, in this whole discussion because it was very encouraging for both Todd as well as for Tamika because Tamika, as we know, has had issues previously with her sister and her mom. And we've seen that drama play out already on the screen. Um, and then with Todd, she shared her story as well as, you know, how she had to, she was pretty much on the back burner when the lead singer Coco, you know, decided to do other things. So, you know, at the end of the day, these sisters are taking advantage of this opportunity being on this show, and they're showing the world other things that they can do. So kudos to these black sisters for doing that. Um, and let's move on to the next thing. All right, so now we get to Taj's condo, and the ladies of Escape are, at this point, they are getting, I guess, the... <laughs> <laughs> the sandwich wraps or whatever that shit, <laughs> whatever it was that Taj had put together. And even Lily was like, what the hell is <laughs> like? She should not be over anybody's luncheon or anything like that. Because uh, like I said, I really didn't know what it was. But at the same time, hey, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money either. I'm laughing about it. But at the same time, I get Taj. Going to get to the business. We ain't going to sit here and eat and drink. We're going to get to the business. So, anyway, the ladies of Escape show up. And all of the women of, uh, of Escape show up. Even Latasha. So, everybody's good. They're talking about the plans. Um, Tamika brings along this guy um, who's actually there. Um, he deals with the uh, music end of it, but he also deals with the graphics. Um, I think he deals with like Pro Tools. So Pro Tools is uh, a music system um, that they use on, you know, through the computer system to record and different things like that. But he also, you, you know, deals with their graphic designs as well. So that's why he's in the mix of all of this. But um, so the ladies of Escape and SWV are talking, they're conveying this information. Well, what we're going to do for the concert and Coco breaks in and she was like, hold up, wait a minute let me put some Coco in it what the heck is going on, before we go any further, we need to know what's going down with this whole event are we co-headliner or are we not, because there ain't no need for me to sit up here and talk all this yin game if we're not going to do it as a co-headline type of situation, and out of nowhere while the ladies of Escape are looking around like, mm, I don't no, out of nowhere, Latasha finally has a revelation. <laughs> no, we're going to co-headline. That's what we're going to do. And, of course, Candace like, what the hell? Like, 
you ain't had nothing to say this whole daggone time. Now, all of a sudden, you want to come out of nowhere and whoop the whoop. You you want to talk now. And at the and it's against what we really want because as K, uh, Candy has stated, most of the girls have escaped. Now, I can't really say most of the girls. Who knows what most of the girls. I know specifically that Tiny and Candy had something to say about it. But the rest of the girls, I really didn't hear them. Now, Tamika said a little bit, but whoop. Man, we're going to move on. But anyway, so I'm glad that the girls finally decided, or Latasha finally decided, to go ahead and say, let's go ahead and go headline. Now, most of America agree with that notion. So let's go ahead and move forward, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so now we head to the studio where Candy is attempting, I guess, I don't really know, her best rendition of SWV's week. Uh, which it was a weak rendition. I'm not really interested in hearing can they do that ever, ever, ever again. But anyhow, so she's singing. Um, Coco shows up with her son. He comes in. She comes in, sits down on the couch. And guess who shows up? Tasha. Tasha has been popping up a whole lot this episode in spaces that we have not traditionally seen her show up, right? So now, all of a sudden, we're like, damn, all right, maybe, maybe since the ball is rolling with Motown, maybe she can get down. You hear what I'm saying? Let me... (laughs) <laughs> but anyway, so they're talking about the orders of the songs. Coco, both Coco and Candy are excited. They're talking about where they typically play songs. And Candy turns to um, Latasha asking, what are, you know, some of her ideas? Have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? Tasha's like, nope, nope, hell nope, oh, no. <laughs> So Candy's like, what? I mean, she has been a A S S this whole time, and that's a that. I mean, that's just literally speaking. But Latasha, why show up to a meeting if you're not going to participate in the meeting? That's why we are there. This whole series thus far have seen we have seen you in meetings where you're not participating in the meetings or there's a problem with your mom or your sister and we can't talk about it right now because these these things have not been resolved but if that's the case then don't show up at no daggone meetings then because we don't need you here because your input is no input and we don't need a face there but anyway so Moving on, now we see Taj, both Taj and um, Tamika, they're showing up at this building. I, I presume it was a church at one time because that's exactly what it looks like. Praise the Lord. But anyhow, what 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 it really was was an actual studio. So they actually had like a stage set up within, within the building. So I thought that was pretty cool. You can actually see it live and in person at the studio, right? So now... Um, they're throwing out all these ideas, and as they're talking to the the program director or the designer of this of, of this of this concert, right? You hear the ching ching in the back, the ching ching in the back. Every time they're they're you know saying this is what we want, this is an idea. You're hearing the dollar signs move up, and these niggas ain't even signed on the line yet to really say how much money we're gonna be charging folks to get in. So. Just knowing a little bit of what I know about how concerts roll, you know, you got to pay all of that stuff up front. All that stuff comes or it comes out of your back end. So every time you are going up and up and up on the price, that's less and less money that you're taking home. So I don't think just from my my take, my little take of the pie, I don't think that Candy, both Candy or Tiny would be going for this. And I don't even feel like Coco would be going for this. We probably got the wrong two people. Yes, they gun ho and we love their enthusiasm about this whole concert, but they're probably not the best people to go by themselves to talk about the money. Where's the money? And if we <laughs> and if we look for the money, so we could know about money. <laughs> Thirty thousand dollars worth. So we definitely can't send Latasha. But anyway, let's move on allegedly. So let's move on, man. All right, so next we head to a restaurant where Candy is going to meet with Don Juan, who is her partner in crime, and they pretty much do a whole lot of things together. But anyway, so they sit down, and Candy is just pretty much conveying her frustration with Tasha right now because we are we're having a meeting, as I just stated, and Tasha has absolutely no ideas to bring to the table, but you're at the meeting, and you've just been an ass about the whole situation, and we don't really need you to be an ass to 
take your ass home. Just do that. Help us all out and, and allow us to be able to do this meeting and be productive. So she's pretty much telling all of this to Don Juan. And Don Juan is like, what is your freaking purpose in all of this? Secondly, this whole thing about you going into the gospel industry is a whole different beast because number one, it's like being a new artist. And I absolutely agree with Don Juan. Nobody knows her for gospel. So if anybody like myself knows anything a little bit about gospel, it is this. People in the gospel music industry are just as judgmental as anybody else. Let's be 100, everybody. They will judge you probably more so than the people in the world. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Let me get myself back together. Oh, come on. So, they, they, listen, they are going to look at her. And they're going to say, okay, who is this woman? We know she was a member of Escape. But at the same time, the people that are supporting her gospel music are not going to be the same people that's supporting her from Escape. Let's just be, let's be real. There will be a small percentage of people that will actually come and buy her album. I'm just not one of them. But so there are some people that will actually go buy her album. So, it, you know. But at the same time, what Don Juan has said is very true. All right, so next we we're heading out. We're going to shop, I guess. But it's also an intervention. Intervention. I'm sorry, um, because Taj and Coco are there with Jay, and Coco is really concerned about his his future. And I understand it's apparent because I'm looking at my kids right now, and they're nowhere near that age. But we, my wife and I, we want what's best for them, right? So. I can understand Coco's concern. Like this music industry, which she's been in for years, she understands the ins and the outs of the music industry. And all she wants for her son is the best. And Todd is there and she pretty much tells him her story. And sometimes that's what it takes. It takes sitting down, telling people, not being so secret about your past. Like when I was growing up, and probably a lot of you all who are listening right now, when we were growing up, parents didn't really share a whole lot. Sometimes you did have a parent that would share, but oftentimes it was unheard of that parents would tell you what they did back in the day. And then later on in life, you'd be like, damn, you were doing that. Know what I'm doing? Anyway, that's a whole side conversation. But Todd's breaking down her story, telling him the real it helped him think about it and put things in perspective where he wasn't just so anti going to school at this point. He thought about it and he listened to her. Number one, Todd, he and Todd have a relationship of some sort because she was able to reach him in a way that both his mom nor his grandmother could really get to him. So I appreciate that. Man, I just love Todd. I love her personality. Like I said, I've met her before. They cool people, man. And it's good to have people like that in your circle. You always got to have somebody like that in your circle. Now, we're going to move on to the next scene because it's not going to be the same type of situation. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move forward, man. All right, so as I was saying, it's not going to get any better because now the girls have escaped. They are out here, and they are out here doing the sound check. And Candy is like, "What the hell is to me, uh, uh, Latasha? Is she coming?" They were like, "Hell to the now, she ain't coming." So they go through this whole performance. They sound good, you know. Got the little background dancers back there doing their thing. Everything is good. Everything is finished. And now the girls are like, "Okay, what's really going down with Latasha?" This is the point of it all. She just wants to show up to the actual performance. She don't want to put in no more work. I just want to get paid when it's time to do my job and leave. I don't want to be around y'all, but that's pretty much what she's telling y'all. So, Candace like, okay, this ain't going to work. I need y'all to learn her parts for real. And like I said before, my wife and I, we've seen them when it's been the three of them. And Tamika did her daggone thing on her sister's part. Like I said before, don't let these girls, don't let these women... Figure out that they can do it without you, Latasha. And I guess at this point, you really don't care because the next scene we see is um, Latasha and her husband. Now, he, you know, he's trying to wind and down her and, you know, just talk about you just celebrating her. And you got to celebrate your meal ticket. Let's that's, that's, that's ponder on that for a moment because I really don't know what that does. <laughs> I'm just being real. He just shows up and, you know, dancing in the studio. He shows up like I. 
in the studio and you know he's controlling the situation that's the only time i see him now like i said before i don't know him so i'm not gonna speak on another man's you know situations but at the same time i'm just telling you what it's looking like and that's what it looks like to me um but um anyhow you know she you know she's excited about this new venture in her life and i'm happy for her. but she cannot burn bridges and that's exactly what she's doing right now and she's using escape as a scapegoat just in case you know if something doesn't go not a scapegoat she's using them as you know as as a fallback if something happens then i can always fall back on escape Mm -mm. Not if the girls decide no, no, no. Remember, y'all got a voting system. It is for y'all. Now, if we figure out that we can make more money, we can sell more shows, and we can do it, and people can just anticipate it's just going to be the three of us, and they still pay their money to come and see us, then you probably will be out of the group, and you'll be singing, you know, your own version with your pimps, as Candy, uh, Candy was talking about. They, so yeah, I just really hope that you know, even though she's signing this contract with Motown Nashville, I just really hope, or Motown Gospel, I'm sorry, I really hope that she keeps all of this into perspective. And um, as the episode is ending, the girls of Escape they are continuously practicing without Natasha. So, you know, with practice comes perfection or close to perfection as possible because we're never perfect, right? But at the same time, these ladies are going to figure it out. And as we all know, all of them like money. So, Natasha, I hope it fares for you. I heard your, your little record. I mean, uh, it, it, it was okay. I didn't know it was a gospel album, though. I didn't know it was a gospel record. Um, but, you know, you, you do what you do, you know? So, you know, this new gospel is something different. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, please, please like and subscribe. Um, if you like this content, please hit that thumbs up down below. It doesn't cost you a thing. Also, check out my other videos that I got um, currently on the channel as well as those that's on the way. I'm getting ready to drop some more on Ghost Book 2. So, if you like that show, um, please stay in the know and check out some more content for Recap with Mo. Thanks again. Peace.